All right, we're going to talk, talk about a very important topic for this course, which is our special right triangles. So there's, these are the two. You, hopefully you've seen them in algebra, algebra 2 and in geometry. You've got your 30, 60, 90, and your 45, 45, 90. So, of course, that, what that means is if you have a uh, right triangle and one of the angles is 30 degrees, then since the angles have to add up to 180 degrees, we know that's got to be 60 degrees. Right. And so what was special about these triangles? Oh, and of course, if that's 45, then that would also be 45. And the reason these are special is because um, the ratio of their sides is completely determined once you know that you're looking at a right triangle with an angle that's, acute angle that's 30, one that's 60, and the other one 90, of course. And what was that relationship? Well, opposite the 30 degree angle, whatever that was, Let's call it x. The hypotenuse was always double that in a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And the side opposite the 60 degree angle was always that small side times root 3. Uh, again, if you if you ever if you doubt this, just do the Pythagorean theorem and you you'll find out that it works, right? If you do x squared plus x root 3 squared you'll t equals 2x squared, you'll find that that's a true statement. Okay, so we won't do that here just in the interest of time, but um, but it is true. So um, now that we know the definition of those trig functions, we could, uh, we could, for instance, find the sine of 30 degrees. So the, th the sine of 30 degrees is x divided by 2x, because it's by definition opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, now that's that x is really like 1x, and you probably notice that those x's cancel, they divide. So the answer is 1 half. Okay. Uh, let's do another one. How about the cosine of uh, the cosine of 30 degrees? Or well, cosine of 30 degrees is equal to um, is equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse, so it's x root 3, or x times root 3 divided by 2x. And what do you know? Again, the x's cancel. And I get square root of 3 over 2 as my ratio. So this brings me to an important question. And I'll write it down. Why bother with the x's? Why bother with the x's? Because they just keep dividing. So if we're doing sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, we're not going to need to make our triangle have our 30, 60, 90 triangles look like x, x root 3, and 2x. I mean, why would we? If the x's keep canceling and all that's left are these, uh, the, the numbers here, we might as well make whatever version of this triangle uh, we like the best. And so let me show, I'll show you what mine is. Mine is when x equals 1. So when x equals 1, this is the picture you get. You get so x is 1, that's 2 times 1, and this is 1 times root 3. This is my favorite version, because now if you do the sine of 30 degrees, if you do the sine of 30 degrees, you get 1 over 2 immediately. If you do the cosine, you get root 3 over 2 immediately. Okay, so this is my favorite version. Just so you know, some people, and this will come up again too, if you let your x equal, or when x is equal to uh, 1 half, you get this triangle. You know, I'm going to run out of room there bottom. When x is equal to 1 half, you get this triangle right here. 
no, it's a hideous right triangle, I'm sorry. Dirty, 60. That's one half, that's my x. This is one half times two, so it's one. And this is one half times root three, which is, you can write as root three divided by two, right? One half times root three is root three divided by two. Some people like this one because if you do the sine of 30 degrees, you get one half divided by one. But that's just one half, right? And the divided by one was kind of unnecessary. So if you do this triangle, all you have to do is read off the opposite side for sine. And for cosine, root 3 over 2, it's the adjacent over hypotenuse, root 3 over 2 divided by 1. But you can just read off this one side here. Okay, so again, this blue one is my favorite. So I'll draw this most of the time. But there's a, there's a very important value. There's much value in this one here that I'll bring up. But just remember, you can let x be anything. You can let it be 5, 10, a million. The ratios will all work out the same. Okay, so, and, and similarly, um, where our 45, 45, 90, uh, 90 triangle, uh, opposite the 45, if we call that x, well, these two angles are the same, so the sides opposite them are the same, so that's x. And if you do the Pythagorean theorem, you'll find that this is x times root 2. And as we did before, if you do, you know, the sine of uh, 45 degrees, you get uh, x over x root 2, right, the, hypoten the opposite over hypotenuse, but that's like a 1x, and my x's cancel. And my answer is 1 divided by root 2. So the same thing's going on here. We might as well, I mean, if the x's keep canceling, let's just do our favorite version of the 45, 45, 90. And mine, again, is uh, letting x equal to 1. Letting x equal 1. Because when you do that, you get this version. Okay, again, this is not to scale. This is solely for... This is what you get, right, when x is 1, because 1 times root 2 is 1. You get that, and then if you do the sine of 45, it's uh, opposite over hypotenuse, 1 over root 2, and much easier, right? So, um, so again, uh, these are my favorite. I'll highlight them. These are my favorite right here. This guy and this guy. So I'll draw those the most. Those are my favorite. So I recommend using those uh, just as a note, side note, if we let x equal 1 over root 2 in this case, in this, above here, uh, this triangle up here. I'm going to draw it over here. Well, then, this is 1 over root 2, and this is 1 over root 2, and this is root 2 times 1 over root 2, but those are reciprocals, so that's just a 1. And now, if you do, for instance, the sine of 45, it's 1 over root 2 divided by 1, which is just really 1 over root 2, right? Dividing by 1 doesn't do much. So the, the takeaway from these little red ones is that if you let the hypotenuse be 1, to get the sine, you just read off whatever the opposite sine it, side is. To get the cosine, you just read off whatever the adjacent side is. Again, this this is an important picture here. It'll come into play when we do the unit circle. But um, as far as I'm concerned, you can oops, you can get you can get your answers by drawing these two yellow versions. These are my favorite versions of the triangle because they're very easy to read off to get the sine, cosine, tangent, etc. All right. So this is an important lesson. I hope uh, you want to be able to draw these triangles uh, all throughout the year on the top of your paper whenever, whenever you need to. Really important.